10,000 subscribers. 10,000 of you have hit that subscribe button. It is unbelievable. Thank you so much to every single one of you over the last two and a half years that has clicked that subscribe button button never thought the channel would ever get near this sort of number but you know to get here is just unbelievable i'm so so happy that it's happened what should we do to celebrate 10,000 subscribers let me know in the comment section down below but anyway let's get into this video the top 10 coolest non-league grounds that also host another sport. So all of the grounds on this list host another sport alongside football and the sports in this ground are different for each of the 10. So we haven't just chosen 10 athletic stadiums, it's all different ones. So anyway, let's get straight into it with number 10. So in at number 10 is De Montford Park, which also hosts American football. Leicester Road FC play there and they have done since their formation in 2013 following the liquidation of Hinckley United. It's a decent ground for the level, they play in the 10th tier and it has over 4,000 in capacity with 600 seats. And this attracted a British American football team by the name of Leicester Falcons to move into the ground and it's able to happen due to the dimensions of American football pitches and football pitches being very similar. Now in a previous video you will have seen Starbridge FC's ground covered and that's notable because it is also part of a cricket pitch. Now, alongside that there are a few others in the non-league pyramid that do host cricket as well the likes of Lytown and Stocksbridge Park Steels alongside the one that's on this list which is the home of Matlock Town. The DCJ Group Insurance Arena. Now, this is slightly different to Starbridge's ground because the football pitch is at a different angle as part of the cricket pitch. So the cricket pitch basically takes up behind the one goal of Matlock Town's ground, whereas at Starbridge, it goes along the length of the football pitch. And similarly to Starbridge, the club aren't able to put any sort of terracing or stands behind that goal that backs onto the cricket pitch. But once the cricket season has finished, they can put some temporary railing in place so that fans can stand behind the goal at least. But one thing that's also worth noting about Matlock's ground is that it is one of the most picturesque grounds in non-league. Look at that for a view. In at number eight is the home of Darlington, it is Blackwell Meadows. Now Blackwell Meadows first opened in 1994 as a rugby union ground and has been home to Darlington Rugby Club ever since. However, Darlington Football Club, after finding themselves moving out of their previous ground, the Darlington Arena, they had to find a new home. They had to settle for Bishops Auckland for a couple of years before finally moving back to Darlington into Blackwell Meadows. They had to do a lot of upgrades to the ground before they could move in. They built a long terrace behind the one goal as well as a seated stand on the opposite side of the pitch to the clubhouse. In at number seven is a ground that you will have seen if you've watched one of my previous videos about the top 10 most unique non-league grounds. That is Newcastle Town's home, the Lime Valley Stadium. And in that video I mentioned that the eighth tier sides ground have a cycle track around the edge of the pitch. It forms a velodrome. And this is used by Lime Racing Club as part of their cycling club. What it does mean is that spectators are a little bit further away from the pitch due to the cycle track, but the cycle track is nowhere near as big as athletics tracks are, so you are still a bit closer than if it was an athletics track. And at number six is the home of FC Halifax Town. It is the Shea. Now the Shea is quite an old ground and it has hosted football since 1921, which is when the ground was opened, hosting the original Halifax Town Football Club from 1921 until 2008 and the Phoenix Club ever since. Halifax's Rugby League Club moved into the ground in 1998 and have been playing there ever since. In rugby league terms, Halifax play in the second tier, so it's ideal that they have a ground that holds 14,000. With 5,830 seats, it's one of the biggest grounds in non-league football. And there's a lot of teams with stadiums in England that have athletics tracks around the edge of their pitch. The likes of Chelsea City, Goul, and Bradford Park Avenue, just to name a few. What you do find with some of these grounds is that their athletics tracks aren't actually in use by anyone on a regular basis, but that's different at Gateshead. The Gateshead International Stadium hosts Gateshead Harriers and has done since the stadium was opened back in the 1950s. They're quite a notable athletics club and have produced talents such as the likes of Jonathan Edwards. It wasn't until the 70s that football started being played at the ground, Gateshead in a previous carnation moving in in 1973, and the current Gateshead FC have been there since 1977. Also in the past, rugby league and American football have been played in this ground, so it's very versatile. The stadium holds 11,800 all seated, another ground that is one of the biggest in non-league football. At number four, it's probably one of the most unique on this list. Please, in the comment section down below, if you know any other grounds that have a rollerblading track around their pitch, 
I'll be absolutely astonished if there are any, but there is one at the Forest Town Stadium, the home of AFC Mansfield. The club was only founded in 2012 and has had three promotions in their first six years, now playing in the eighth tier. It is quite a small stadium, but as I did mention, the most interesting part is the fact that there is a rollerblading track around the edge of the pitch. There are slight banks behind the goals, and yet it's just such a novel different unique ground in at number three is another novel one that you certainly don't see very often and it is the home of fullwood amateurs their ground on lights foot lane in lancashire is also a golf driving range so the team play in the 11th tier of english football and it's a very very basic ground with one small shelter along the one side of the pitch but behind the one goal there is a 20 bay driving range which has been there since 1999 and is still in use throughout the week to this day. In at number two is a ground that is noticeable because of the amount of sport that it currently hosts and that is the Holton Stadium, the home of Witness FC. It's a big stadium holding 13,350 all seated and Witness FC only have an attendance of around about 100 so it's a very empty stadium usually but also in that ground is Witness Vikings, a rugby league team that play in the second tier in their sport and primarily it is their ground it's who it was built for but also there is Holton Spartans who are an American football team the ground has also been home to Liverpool and Everton ladies football teams what also makes this ground unique is due to its artificial pitch which is basically allowing all of these different sports to be marked out on the pitch at all times so that multiple matches can take place throughout the week and finally in at number one is Sheffield Park the home of Berwick Rangers now this ground is a very unique one in multiple different ways not only because it has a speedway track around the outside but also because it is the only ground to be in England but play in the Scottish Football League system they play in the fourth tier in Scotland and they've been in the ground since 1954 it holds just over 4,000 with 1300 seats the speedway track is home to Berwick Bandits who were there from 1968 until 1980 and then moved back in in 1996 where they've been ever since. It's a form of motorbike racing and it is just a really cool thing to have around the edge of a football pitch. There's no sort of barriers between the speedway track and the pitch so potentially if one of these motorbikes just loses control they could just end up ploughing the pitch and leaving a massive amount of damage like a big line through the pitch or something which is probably why you don't see this very often and in my opinion is the number one coolest football ground to host a different sport. So there you have it, that is it for this video. If you did, remember to hit that like button and subscribe which is your favourite ground on this list and were there any that you did not know about let me know in the comment section down below also what other top 10 lists would you like to see in the future let me know in the comment section down below but yeah I hope to see you in the next video and thanks for watching